Today, we are going to engrave text into an object. So first, let's make an object. I'm just going to make a cube. And now, we're going to make some text. We're going to use our 3D text tool. And I'm going to leave these other parameters alone. Now with the 3D text, I'm actually going to hover this above the surface. Okay, I don't actually want it touching, touching the surface. Currently, this shape is not an object. I know that because I can select the individual lines or planes. The text, however, is an object. So I'm going to select only this cube, right-click, and make it a group. So I could have made this a group or a component. And now I'm going to move the text into the object. Then I'm going to subtract the shape of the text from the object, leaving only this object, only this cube, the text itself will be deleted. Okay. So I'll grab my move tool, select the surface, hit the up arrow so it stays on the blue axis. When I get to where I want, I'm going to click. Now these two objects are interfacing with each other. They're, they're in the same area right here. If you left this selected, the Hello World selected, it would, when we use our Subtract tool, it would automatically be the first selection. I am going to deselect everything to show you how it works. So the tool that we want is the Subtract tool. And you're going to select what is going to cut into the second object first. So the first thing we're going to click on is the text, because we want that cut into the second object, which is the cube. So I'll click on this. You see the little number one that shows up I'm going to click on that, and then what's going to happen is it's going to change to a number two, and now I select the second object, which is going to be this part here. I'm going to click and release. We'll give the computer time to think, and what it does is it cuts out that first object from the second object. So the text is now gone, and it has cut into this cube here. That's all there is.